everybody, Karen Burchill, Creative Katie here with a craft solution, craft hack video. So, put up your hand if you've ever had issue with the mixed media tablets, journals with the coils. They are a pain. You get halfway through them, the, the coil comes off like this, the papers can rip, it builds up, you can get about two-thirds of way full if you're doing a whole lot of mixed media and then you, the rest of the papers you can't turn the pages anymore. So <clears throat> for a long time that was a problem. Then I was watching Mixed Media Monday with Tracy Wise Apple and she had a system and it was the Strathmore I believe where the pages, you could take the pages out. It had a different kind of system. You could take the pages out, do your work, and then when it was all done, you could put it back in. But I looked and I looked and I looked for that every time I'm at Michael's, anytime I'm at, the, at an art store, and I don't know where they can be found. So, as I was spending time in Michael's, I notice the huge display for the happy planner now i'm kind of out of the loop and i don't know how long this has been in but the happy planner is kind of a customizable way of setting up a notebook or agenda or planning book similar to this this is not the happy planner it is another system that i found that basically does the same thing it sets it up on these coils well, what the punch does, whether you get the Happy Planner punch at Michael's um, or other stores, or whether you get the um, Arc System Planner at Staples, they have a punch as well, so you can comparison shop. This one, this punch at Michael's with a 50% off coupon was $25. That's Canadian. Um, and it takes, I believe it says, three sheets of regular copy paper. The one at Staples takes seven sheets, and it looks a little more heavy duty. Um, I just bought this one. I may be taking this one back to Michael's and getting that one because you can put thicker sheets of paper in it, and that might be something that I want. But it is bigger and bulkier, so if you're short of space, you kind of have to do do the math and figure it out. Anyways, what the Happy Planner punch or the Arc punch does, we'll take paper, any kind of paper, and I'm just going to grab one here, and you put it in just like a regular paper punch and they are limited to the size. The Staples one has punches 11 holes whereas this one punches 9. So technically you could make a bigger one. But so you put it in there and press and punch. And what it does gives these kind of neat, cuts it like that where you can just then take, now I, I kind of didn't line this up properly, so it's not going to quite fit, but you can put it in and take it out. You can customize sheets, you can have all sorts of sheets like that. So, thinking, okay, we've got the planner idea, and we have this problem in art journaling with these coil books. So, I thought to myself, well, what would happen if I took the coil book that is completely problematic so since I'm not even at home right now I don't have my coil book but I'm thinking okay if I had mixed media paper not even necessarily in a coil book just plain sheets of paper I could cut it any size I want use the happy planner punch or the arc punch and get that and I could be make a booklet that I can put pages in and take pages out so this is what I have here this was just kind of my travel sketchbook and it's they're fairly thick papers um, 
110 pound. So it's better than the 90 pound. So I thought, okay, I'm just gonna rip them off the coil. And if you have a paper cutter, you can use a paper cutter, but I don't have that on me with me and my temporary lodging here. So just doing an old school, just gonna cut. And then I'm going to line it up so that it's equal. Now they have line marks for the, the page pages that would fit the happy planner size. So this is where you're going to have to play and choose, pick and choose, and I'm just making sure that there's the same amount on one side as on the other side. So wherever I line it up, I'm going to do that for the entire book. And then punch it, and you can see we have the holes. Then I can go and Put it in to now these were pictures that were these are some art journal pages that I did last summer that were in this um, coil book that I took off and I punched so you can see then they're punched and these were quite thick already so then I can go and I can just add them to my put them in so I've made my own little journal. Now what I've done in here, we've got some finished pieces of art. We have the blank sheets. And then I went and I did the same with some jelly prints. So all I did is I took one blank sheet of this. I went through my jelly prints and lined it up. So if I want to start my art with a jelly print or if I want to glue a jelly print on. If I glue the jelly print on first and then stamp, it may be too thick, especially that's one of the downsides of the Happy Planner one. It doesn't take a lot of thickness. And I believe the Staples one, just simply because it takes seven sheets of paper, will take more. So if you cut it separately, whether you do the journaling right on the page, you know, I could have put jelly prints onto this paper and I'd have have it this thick already or this is just on um, regular copy paper I believe or sketchbook paper so just line it up and because I'm lazy I'm not going to draw lines cut it the same size so again as your art journaling you can make it any size you want you can make it AT si ATC side you could use it index card side size the sky's the limit so then I'm lining it up here and it's really hard for me to punch and for you to see but I'm just making sure that on either side of each of the last punches that have got the same distance Okay, I'm not going right to the end because this isn't, I'm not punching at the size of the Happy Planner. The Happy Planner is geared only for the Happy Planner, the Happy Planner size. So, so I'm just going to go push that in there, take some time to line it up, make sure both sides are the same, push it right in, and punch, and you can see I've got the punches. So then I can take and I've just made up a mini mini art journal, some art journal pages, uh, jelly prints, some backgrounds that I've created that were here, some completed pages that are in there, and some jelly prints. And I've just interdisper interspersed them in amongst the pages that are there. So when I'm feeling particularly creative, I can flip through decide, okay, I want to do, I want to do something on this jelly print. I can take this jelly print out, take the book away so not my finished pages aren't in danger of getting messed on because I don't know how many times I've done that. Take it out, work on it, work on the other side. When it's all done and all dry, put it back in and I can rearrange them if they seem to go together and be in themes um, and go on from there. So we have that, push it in. Now you might notice that I do not have all nine rings here. 
You don't need all nine rings to hold your art journal together. You can probably skip every second one. I just took some out because I, I only bought so many. Now with, with the Happy Planner system, you can buy, they have different colored ones, and they have these cute hearts in. So we've got some larger one, aqua size. So I can make my journal this size, and then they had some gold. They have pink, they have different ones, and probably depending on the Michaels or the store that you're buying them at, will determine that. Now, at Michaels here, these were between six and nine dollars for nine of them, which is pretty pricey. So of course I decided, you know, somebody, I said to myself, somebody has to have gone off on it. And definitely at the, at Staples with the ARC, notebook, customizable notebook system that they have there, they have discs that are one inch in diameter and one and a half inches in diameter. They come in sets of packs of 12 for three, four dollars. So these are much cheaper. They do not, they, do, they only had black when I was there, so I don't know if they come in other colors and they don't have the cute little hearts in it, but quite honestly, for less than half the price, I can deal with the black. So definitely we'll be sourcing them out here. I did look online, and I did find some of the Happy Planner ones on Amazon.ca that were still cheaper than what they were at Michael's. So play around, and again, at Michael's, if you have a 50% 50, 50 off coupon, then you can bring it down to the price that you want. I tend to use my 50% coupons for things that are more than $7 regular. But, so, this was one art journal that I have made. As I add more pages and it gets thicker with just the medium that I've used, because this has like texture galore here. This is very much kind of 3D on here. As it gets thicker, I can sub it out and put the, the bigger rings in if I need to, if it gets to that point. I can put all of them in or not. You can set up whatever system you want. You can have gold and black and mix and match and, and, and very individualize it. So as I'm thinking about that, I thought, oh, okay, I just finished all my ATCs. I did the ATC 61 day challenge, or index card a day, the ICAD index card a day. So I have all of these. And I thought, okay, what if I can punch these? Now, as I was creating, I wasn't careful about avoiding things, putting things near the top or whatever, so it isn't going to be a perfect fit. So I pulled, it, pulled out my, the punch and I'm starting to play and I was putting it in, but as you can see, it doesn't go in. So this has a jelly print on this side and just some art medium, this one's not even particularly thick, on this side, and it doesn't go in. So this is where the Staples one would be a better product. This one that just has art on one side and nothing on the other, just, just, but I have to force it in. So my iCADs are not going to be done that way. But of course, I'm thinking and I said, okay, what if I did this before there was anything on there? So there's the flashcards that I use for my iCADs. And I just lined it up and it's three rings leaving space, enough space on each, the same amount of space on each side so it, they line up and match the book you are presently making and stamping. And then you can just put, punch that in, put those into the ring. So there we have what could be an iCAD ring, but I put on, punch, doing the punching, before I do the creating. So again, I would go take this off the system, have it here, do my art, gesso it, paint it, put jelly print. I thought, okay, a lot of times I wanted to put jelly prints. So what I did is I went through my jelly prints and I just cut them. So now I can, I punch them the same way. And you sometimes you need a leather piece of paper. The deli paper doesn't, it, it's, it's kind of like using it with pe paper punches. It doesn't always work the way you want it. And what you would do here 
is simply use Mod Podge or gel medium, whatever you desire. Now sometimes I would just sew this, but I don't think I don't think you're going to see that through. And I'm just putting it on after the fact. So I'm cutting the paper, whatever I'm putting on, lining it up. As good as possible. And the good thing is, none of my art or iCADs that I've already done or any of the blank pages are getting dirtied up with the goo from this one. Just make sure that always the ends need a little extra attention, I find. I always, always, always do. So, and then I would just simply dry that, and when it's dry, I would continue creating. So you've kind of got it all the way through to the top of the card, and you've avoided that. So I'm going to set that aside. So as you flip through this, and I just cut, I cut a paper bag, I'm going to put that one on, and I'm going to get that um, faux leather look, cut some other jelly prints that I'm going to put on and have ready in my little mini book. So here's where the three of the coils are. Now I'm just going to see, this is the small size, let's do a comparison here. Kind of have to take things off. You can't take bunches. These are pretty thick cards, so um, not sure what size they claim. Oh, there we are. That's does say it. Um, this you've got nine of these gold ones. They're just called mini discs. They do not have a size on them. This is the one inch disc. And as you can see, it's bigger than that. So um, you can mix and match and make new notebooks and art journal books and iCAD books and whatever you want using the punch from, you know, either the Happy Planner um, setup or the ARC setup notebook system because so you can make your own art journal with this system and you can totally customize it you can make you can have different pieces here I have a jelly print that's shorter so it may or may not work another one you can put bigger pieces and littler pieces all in one journal and make it your own so I hope I've inspired you and I hope um, you know, this will help uh, um, solve the problem of the coil, the clogged up coil journals that all they kind of rip. By the time I'm done, I know my 11 by 14 one at home, the, the front covers are already coming off like this. This will avoid that and it will keep all your pages clean. So then you can just have whatever you want in there. You can do a background, put it back in, make your, use your jelly prints. Pretty much the, your, the sky's the limit and it's only deter, only limited by your imagination. So whether you use the Happy Planner Punch or you use the Arc Punch from Staples, which I think was selling for about $38 I'm thinking, I, and I don't know whether it would go on sale. Um, it, that one is a little heavier duty um, so definitely if you are wanting to use it on heavier papers, you may may want to look into that one. I'm still undecided as to which way I'm going. So this video is long enough, so I'm not going to talk about anything about the notebook that I 
bought. This is a, an ARC notebook. I will do that in another video and show you how I'm using that in my art as well. So, uh, happy art journaling. I hope you found this helpful. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Bye for now.